stop. Salmonella typhi enters the whole system through the distal ileum. Then, you know, it has a specialized fimbri. With that fimbri, it adheres to the epithelium over clusters of lymphoid tissue in the ileum. It's also called Peyer's patch. The main relay point for macrophages traveling from the gut into the lymphatic system. S. typhi has a V capsular antigen. This helps it to avoid neutrophil based inflammation. The bacteria then induce their host macrophages to attract more macrophages. S. typhi co-ops the macrophages cellular machinery for its own reproduction as it is carried through the mesenteric lymph node to the thoracic duct and the lymphatics and then through the reticular endothelia tissues of the liver the spleen the bone marrow and the lymph nodes once there the bacteria pauses and continues to multiply until the critical stages is reached critical density is reached afterward the bacteria induce macrophage apoptosis breaking out into the bloodstream to invade the rest of the body the bacteria then infect the gallbladder via either bacteremia or direct extension of S. typhi invested by. The result is that the organism re-enters the gastrointestinal tract in the bile and reinfects paste patches. Bacteria then do not reinfect the host are uh, typically shared in the stool and then available to infect other hosts. Mm.